Just pose for a minute. Like, like that? Okay. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am a little bit starstruck at the moment. I have Scott Barnes with me and how are you here right now? This is so cool. Um, you guys have probably heard me talk about Scott like 5,000 times. He is the master of the JLo glow. Yeah, I would say that, yes, yeah, yeah. I, amongst other things. Amongst other, <laughs> well you do plenty of things, but my audience knows how obsessed I am with JLo's makeup and highlight and We're all obsessed with JLo. and dewy. We love her, right? Yeah, like you're always like, make me look like JLo. I'm like, make me look like JLo, Yeah, please. we both would like to look like JLo. So, <laughs> I want to look like JLo. But, but Scott's actually gonna try and make that happen today. So, we can. Um, we're gonna play with all of this in front of me, you guys. I cannot wait for you to see just this new take on makeup from someone who is an actual master. You are, in my mind, like, the best. Thank you. I've been doing this for 28 years, and I just shot my 263rd music video last weekend. I know. Okay. And over 450 magazine covers, and over five films, one Oscar consideration for one of my films. Awesome. And I've written two books. I started out as a fine arts painter, mm -hmm. and then became a makeup artist by accident. And it became a passion after it was an accident. You are the real deal. And I actually love that you started that way and it gives you such a different take on doing makeup. Well, I do makeup, which is interesting because I see people that do really beautiful makeup and people look great on the street. That's not my thing. Like, you'll look good on film, uh -huh. but maybe in person you'd be like, ah. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, well, I, I want to look good on film. Let's right. get some photos. So I do what, and that's why I came out with a foundation called Multimedia because it was more about red carpet, flash photography, mm -hmm. video, yeah. 5K, and then award shows and yeah. everything else. So you're looking at like layers of media mm -hmm. where it's not just like you're in your bathroom, look, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like Instagram is great for that, but you're getting parts, you know, yeah. people do parts. I call it parts modeling. It's like, here's your eyebrow. And it's like, isn't it amazing? And you're like, it's an eyebrow. <laughs> you know, I want to see the whole face. Let's see the whole picture. Because when you are doing makeup, everything's got to work harmonious, whether it's hair, makeup, wardrobe, everything's got to work together. This is true. Okay, so that's why I've been with Jennifer for 19 years now. So we're almost 20 years together, friends wow. throughout the whole time. She's an amazing person to create with. Yes, the she is. The reason why she's amazing to create with is she gets into it elbows deep. You know, yeah. like if I say, okay, we're gonna make you into da 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 da, she's like, yeah, and let's do it like this and like that. It is a whole process. You think of the whole story with everything from nails, jewelry, wardrobe, and you use everything in a very, I want to say non-traditional way, like you will take a powder and use it as bronzer or you'll put it on the eye. And I think so many women are conditioned to think that eyeshadow has to just be eyeshadow. And this Can I has explain to you why they that. do that? Why? Is because when you go to a department store, they load a sale. Mm -hmm. So you need an eye primer and then you need the eyeshadow and then you need the sealer and then you need the mascara, but you can't use this eyeshadow because this is the only, you know, and it yeah. becomes like you're walking away with 15 things when you could literally buy two things and just do a whole face with it. True story. I uh, had to do, you know, I used to do the Neiman Marcus, the book. So we go to Hawaii and they forget my, uh, they lost my bag of makeup. Mm -hmm. So I'm in Hawaii with nowhere to shop. There was no Sephora's back then. Okay. So I'm like, okay, CVS type of thing. So I did an entire shoot with L'Oreal's bronze coin. There was a lipstick called bronze coin and I used it as a highlighter, lip, eyeshadow. I like did everything, bought some mascara and a little bit of powders. Okay, so let's dive in. I'm, I keep glancing at the monitor and I'm like, I have no glow right now, so let's- You do have so glow. Please your skin me. is really beautiful and you Thank maintain you. your skin really well. Thank so you. this is a fantastic palette to work with. I always start with contouring. I always start okay. with the dark and then I add the light. It's not about contouring on top of makeup. Sometimes it is, but not usually. So I'm gonna treat you as though we were doing like a video shoot, music oh. video or something uh, fabulous. Yeah, you guys, like I'm gonna sing for you at the end of this. Okay, so I'm gonna use all nighter, right? Okay. What I like to do with this is to bring it in and you just use it to like eliminate stuff. And I'm gonna go in ham. Like I'm Wait, gonna use yes, makeup. Like, like I'm not gonna pretend like. Just drench me. My skin eats makeup. Like yeah. it really does. I did it, your makeup yeah. once before and it was like that. You so, don't use primer? For what? I don't what really. Do you mean for what? <laughs> I don't really need to it. To fill everything in. Wow, this is a look. I like the contouring and everything to do the work underneath the foundation so you don't see it. Now, 
this is everybody's like, where do I contour? So this is always the question, right? So mm -hmm. I bring the light right all the way up to the edge. Really? And sometimes you see really bad nose contour and it looks like they're behind bars. Okay, couple brushes. Let's let's talk about yes. brushes for a second. If we're gonna talk about Jennifer, Jennifer calls this a cat paw. Oh. Cause she goes, look, it's like a cat paw. <gasps> I love that. So anyway, um, what I like to do with it is just kind of blend it out and just working into the skin. Now I'm starting to feel like that guy from, remember who used to do oh, the painting? Bob Ross. Okay, we're gonna put a little tree in right underneath your nose. Yeah. Do a happy concealer. A happy concealer. And there's there's a small little squirrel jumping around on your forehead. Tell you what. Let's get crazy. You have to remember, okay? Lifting. I'm like literally giving you all my secrets here. Do you hear that guys? <laughs> all of his secrets. I'm gonna play this back over and over and over and I'm gonna be like, how'd he do this? Well, okay. now I have it in action. Yes. So what I do is just gently, watch, I'm gonna turn your nose just a little bit so that everybody can see this. And I just, and you can do this on yourself, which is very easy, is I blend it up this way, see? And I got really great new lashes. I can't wait to share all this stuff with you. I know, I know. This is such good timing because I am so obsessed with your brushes. They are just the absolute best for application if you want a perfect blend. This brush is so magical. Like this is the best brush ever of all time. Wow, oh my God, so good. I feel like an Avon representative. I'm coming with all new products Avon to your calling. house. It's Scott Barnes calling. <laughs> Ding dong. See that? See how the angles are already happening? Ooh. It's kind of weird, right? <laughs> the reason why I always hit the chin mm -hmm. is because you want this to come forward. It makes things sharper. All right, jaws. We're gonna jaws. come in with the jaws of life. Ooh, yes. Snatched. Snatched the house. So this is what I call, I'm gonna do this look I actually have Named it. Oh, you named this look? Yeah, it's called Snatural. Snatural. It's <gasps> snatched, but natural. I love that it's, so much. It's kind of oh like glowy gosh. and hoey. <laughs> yes. Where's your merch? You need some. <laughs> She's pretty. She looks natural, but a little bit more. So she's natural. Mm. Now, if you need to minimize someone's neck, this is what I do. Bring it into a V. I don't think my neck needs to be minimized. No. This is my area that I don't like. Scott actually is always like, it's beautiful. What, like, what are you doing? Why are you? Like, I always try to cover this up. Why? Because I don't cover like it with my, what? I don't like my bones. What? You're Everybody like, else what? is like clavicle, what? clavicle, give me clavicle <laughs> bone, and you're like, let's get rid of it. A lot of people ask, how do you deal with the haters? How do you deal with the trolls? Like, and that's one of those things early in my YouTube career that so many people. Do you have haters? Me. Oh, sure do. I don't. I'm a whole camp. <laughs> oh, Scott. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, minimizing your forehead now. Like the light's hitting right here, so mm -hmm. I'm just taking it down. That's all. You just... So you do makeup differently per shoot, per lighting. Like you really... Oh, the first thing I do when I walk in... Look at the lighting. I walk right to the director and I'm like, well, what are we doing? Where's the light? And then depending on what lighting we're doing or what the AD is using for lighting, it will <laughs> determine what I do for foundation. This is where people really mess up with contouring. They over contour and then they drag all this brown into the nose mm -hmm. and into the side of the face. And then they just face tune it later, just saying. Which is, which is an issue. Now the trick to having a fuller lip is not overlining it to death. Okay, I'm decided I'm gonna use some Chanel on you. Ready? Oh. We're gonna start with the bottom. He's kind of ready and I'm like, this is so relaxing, you guys. I usually sit here and I have to do all the work and I'm just like, this is playtime. If you have my love and Hey, wait, you did her makeup for- The Oscars? For, well, yes, okay. but for all of her shows in Vegas, right? Yes. For all of them? Yes. But were you there the last show? Yes, of course. So was I. Were you? But I was screaming like a little girl in the audience. I was how good yeah. was that show? So good. I miss doing that show, actually. So, it's fun. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've seen a lot of shows in Vegas, and she killed it. Vegas, I was looking at the makeup, and I'm like, that is so Scott's makeup. Like, that is just... Yeah. So I'm yeah. going to do, like, a little bit, like, what... This is, like, you know, like I said, we're doing this for... 
TV and for stage, like for mm -hmm. like a music there video. There is a difference because you have to think of like, I mean, she looked great under all lighting situation. Yep. You know, whatever angle the light was hitting her, the skin looked amazing, the contour looked amazing. And that's, to me, the difference between some of the artists that you see that are dominantly on Instagram or just photo shoot, and then someone like you that actually has to think about every situation, you I, know, for film, for I live performance. I look at a woman's face and I'm like, okay, how to make you look perfect. You know what I mean? Like, that's my... That's what we like to hear. And then we're gonna use a little bit of lighter foundation because we don't want to take away the contouring. Okay, so instead of just eliminating that lip, we're just patting over it gently, like that. Ooh. She's there, but she's blended. When did you discover that technique? Like, really, no one else does that. It's, you know, Where you just do the, the contour under, and then you do it's painting. everything, you like, know, on You know, listen, top. I worked with light and dark <laughs> painting. <laughs> You've got this white hand. Oh, my God away I need to spray tan oh my god but if you don't have time for a spray tan you can always use body blank oh tell me more what's that <laughs> stop it <laughs> Scott's like the first one to do full-on body glowy makeup and yes. I read an article I want to say in Allure of you like putting it all in a blender and That's painting correct. bodies before they would walk down the red carpet and I remember looking at like my wet and wild like little pigments and thinking like, well, maybe. Maybe I could do this. Maybe I could put it, <laughs> put it all in a blender. <laughs> maybe it'll work out. Um, but I was probably one of your first customers because That's I bought cool. body, body bling way back in the day. I know, it was like in that black pump originally. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not okay. Oh, that is a dramatic before and after. <laughs> well, you know what it is too? And this has nothing to do with age. It has to do with your skin tone is you start getting blue. Like oh pull the other God, one up. Oh my God, yes. And it takes that blue out of it. Oh, which, I'm embarrassed. Put that one down. Oh but my God. it also makes the manicure what? look a lot better too, right? So yeah, you were yeah. dealing with. Do you know what's so tragic? I need to get these like zapped off. This was from a swatch accident. Can I tell you about a swatching incident that I <laughs> experienced my very own self? Yes, please. So when I started doing makeup, I would go to the counters and I was trying to figure out product because I didn't understand it, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, I was swatching on the back of my hand and people try on lipsticks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I got a fungus on my hand. So be careful with those oh! things. Oh my God, this is why I always tell everybody do not try on lipsticks at Sephora. Don't You're like, eh, eh, and everybody no. else did it and you don't no. know where those you lips are. You don't want to know, because I worked at a counter and I've seen people do weird things with testers. Weird. And I'm just like, like weird. I literally have seen someone have like a sore on their mouth yeah. and like, like full on herpes, and then they're giving you like, here, let, let me give you my lipstick. And you're like, ah! No. I don't want it. Just keep it. No, seriously, keep it. Keep the chapstick. You can mm -hmm. have it. It's not vodka. It's Pellegrino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little Scott earth. Scott is just, this is his magic right here. He requested straight <laughs> vodka. <laughs> vodka breakfast for everyone. Let's get crazy. We can all try to duplicate this, and we can learn, and we can you know, try out these incredible techniques, but there's just something about you. Like you're the chef, like you, only you can do this, really. I always joke around, cause you know, flattery, there's a lot of people that kinda like claim to what I've done mm -hmm. and think that they're better than me or whatever, and, and they're whatever. I don't, it's like, mm -hmm. God bless you. <laughs> but my thought is this, no one can be me. My dad used to say to me all the time, no one can have your hands. Yep. Your pressure, the way you see things, the way you, when you stop, you know when to stop. And no one can do that. No one, that can't be replicated. I love cream. I think that cream works primarily better than powder for a couple reasons. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's coming from inside the skin. And we want you to look like a baby, a baby face. So baby, baby face is in here. That is the one thing that I've noticed. And I, I will like try to copy you. Like you do this thing with your blush brush when you do powders. And I was talking about it with your this brush one. specifically. These. Yeah, where you almost like take it, you don't pull so much, but I'll, you do this thing where you like fluff it almost up. Flick it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I try to do that sometimes I get blush on my nose. I'm like, damn. <laughs> 
I just came out with a foundation brush. It's amazing. What is this best for? What kind of foundation? Cream foundation, foundation. like what we did here, yeah. Okay, so this would be a good one to do even like the body, uh, maybe? Face, everything. Face, everything? Yeah. Okay. Why stop at the body when you can do your face? Like, And I'll show you. Like, I love, and the reason why I waited for this is because this is a dry brush. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing here is just marrying everybody together. My favorite thing is when you watch newscasters and their neck and their face are in two different zip codes. You're like, whoa. And then they blink their eyes and the lid's white. Okay, powder. So what powder are you using? You're using your You're, powder. I'm using Petal. She's a little translucent with a tiny tinge of pink in her. And what that does is cancels out any kind of like little bluey, purpley stuff underneath the eye. Ooh, is that highlight? Yeah. <gasps> Do you know Glowgetter? Private Society. Oh, oh, they actually had sent me some stuff and they're like an indie brand with a lot of cool products actually. I use it Ooh. a lot for highlighters. Love that. See? Ooh, yes. Ooh, she's gorge. <gasps> and I just, I'm like one of those people, I just kind of mash everything together. I'm watching this and I'm like, oh, okay. And somehow it looks so great. My fan brush, which is like, yay, yeah, big fan. Um, You're a big fan of your fan brush? Yeah, I'm a fan of the fan boom, brush. Boom, boom. Da, da, da. Dad jokes. I got dad jokes all day. Oh, we day. welcome that on my channel. Yeah. Very much. Look at your nose. Oh my God, yes. Razors. Ugh. Razors. I just Razors. had plastic surgery with makeup. Yes. Wow. I'm very happy. I need to go places after this. So <laughs> like all over the place. Like, hi. I'm just going to drive around and just meet people. So funny. I did a shoot with this woman one time and she never had her makeup done before. Never did a photo shoot in her life. Nothing like that, right? Mm -hmm. She was like, oh my God, I went everywhere with my makeup on. I went shopping. I went yes. <laughs> She's like, I went to Barney. She's like, everybody treated me differently. It was so crazy. Makeup's powerful. It really is. It's a transformer. Okay, so we have some Twitter questions. 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 Kay Harris wants to know, what? Scott, what is your number one favorite <laughs> product? Uh, drugstore and high-end. My favorite drugstore product is Neutrogena. I use like this Neutrogena um, spray. Okay, tell me more. Spray makeup? No, it's like a, um, I'll show you in a second. He's like hesitating. He's like, I don't want to tell you, but really, All right, maybe. Here it there, here it comes. It was in the, it was in the kit. Okay, it's ooh, a, what's um, this? Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen at 30. Okay, why do you like this? Because I'll show you. Watch, you ready? Oh my God. Oh, Look. oh, woo. super glow. But it's sunscreen. Stop that. Forget the MAC setting spray. Stop that. And this is also good for your skin. So when you go outside bronzed, you maintain your sun protection. Whoa. Oh my God, I'm so shiny. Wow. And gorgeous, right? If you grab, now watch, because we have all this on there. We're just putting a little bit of highlighter bronzer situation. Right now. Look at that. Can you come over like every day? This is Barbie skin. Oh my God. Do you Stop. know when Barbie just like woke up and said hi? Barbie. Let's go party. The Scott Barnes, you asked about this. Mm -hmm. Here it comes, all right? Look at that. I just wanna show you two strokes. Ooh. Yeah. This is with just a little bit of powder. It's beveled so that you can work with the curves of this brush. It, I created this so that you guys could not think about it. I hate one that looks like there's a stripe. So let's toast the edges. <gasps> Do you remember Made in Manhattan? Let's talk about that for a second. <gasps> Who doesn't love that movie? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so remember the beauty scene when she becomes Cinderella? Yes. Remember the makeup? Yes. The shimmery highlighted. This is really basically what I did with it and threw a lash on and a peach lip because I wanted her to look like herself, but more. It's natural. It's natural. You, you know, guys, these brushes are the real deal. It's they the jam. are so, so good. I work with so many different brushes. I've tried so many different brushes over the years doing what I do. And the shape on these makes so much sense. The thing is to really make makeup amazing, you gotta go slow and take your time with it. I'm gonna go like this. And you just kinda just soften the edges. This is the trick that makes the biggest impact, and I talk about this a lot, I have brought this up so many times here on my channel, that I've seen other makeup artists really do this, and I feel that you're the one that did this multi-layer contour under, foundation, do the bronzer, do the contour, do all that, and then do this additional powdering. Like, you work in these very interesting layers. Yes. And the end result is something that is so smooth. Yeah. And it's just, seamless. it's it very be... seamless. 
that trick, it seems like, well, why would you do that? And it's like, it just smooths everything out. Just marries everything together. Yeah. Okay, so lip. This is number seven. She's called naked or natural or nude or something like that. So remember our little contour? Mm -hmm. It's underneath there. See the fullness? Okay, and we're gonna connect the top so that it's not two peaks. It's kind of like a round. I think what is really most important when you're doing makeup too is just like clothing, you have to look at proportion. You got a real purr mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you got a purr to mouth right there. I am feeling the glow. This you is don't know insane. these, right? No, so, oh, good, I, I get to show you okay, something yeah. that you don't know about. Yay! Okay, <laughs> show me. Okay, these are Victoria Duke. These are my friend. You're gonna love the name of this. Her name is Hottie. Oh, rhymes with Tottie. <laughs> Tottie the Hottie. I'm so cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is important. Tip, tip alert. Feel what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Going out to the edge. Not <laughs> I'm taking it and out and to the edge. Oh, this is like makeup choreography. One and two and out and to the edge. I'm gonna use something on you today. Okay. These are my new palette that I'm putting together. I'm coming oh. out with the palette. Is this secret sauce or can this we? This is secret. This is the secret sauce. I can't show this, but you're gonna see it on my face first. Correct. When is this happening? As we speak. Well, I know that you put a lot of development into your brushes, and it when takes I, me time. it takes time to do it right. So yeah, I'm not just like slapping my name on something. This is Sarah Artistry. I use these four brows, believe it or not. Ooh, that's Pretty. a nice color. Yeah. That's kind of shocking, actually, because it looks very light. Right. Well, I don't want this to take over. I just kind of build them up slowly. Senna, do you use? I love Senna. Now, this is a gold. I think this mm -hmm. is called Blonde Shimmer. Okay, so. We're shimmering our eyebrows. Well, what? because the whole look is kind of glistening and gorgeous, so we need to make the eyebrows match. It just softens that, and it separates the brow really nicely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. the framework's done. Now, if you really are going out and say you were wearing black, I use this Makeup Forever. This is S118. It's okay. It's blush. Like if you were wearing a black dress. Yeah. And you wanted contour with this. Mm-hmm. Oh. Turn to the camera. Just turn your head a little bit. See that? Cut. <laughs> Ooh. Now, again, too strong. You're just gonna grab a little bit of Beyond Beige, mm -hmm. which this is again one of my powders, but it has shimmer in it, but a slight amount to it. And feel how I'm kind of working mm -hmm. upwards and going against it? Takes that sharp hardness away. With your powders, do they all have a slight shimmer. sheen to them? Yes, they do. The shine is so subtle in it, mm -hmm. just so that the skin doesn't look dead. Okay, yeah, we don't want that. I don't like dead skin. So wait, I'm sorry, which brush did you use for my the, eyebrows? Oh, I used the, the SB brush. This one? Yeah. Okay. It's sharp, like this oh, is wow. a sharp, you can okay. draw hairs with this. You guys. And I lined your lip and your nose with this. Oh, multi-purpose. Right, this I don't like using a brush for just one brush. thing, it's right. silly to that me. That makes so much sense, I love that. Now, I'm using my crease brush on this. I love that crease brush. It is pure magic and it has the right shape to do so much. It works. And that's, you know, I was talking about this before that really you can use that one brush if you're just doing a very easy look in a few different colors and you just get a lot of mileage out of it. So what I do with this, just so you guys can, I don't know if you can see this or if it helps, I almost work it in a circle. Now still one color. I just want to keep reminding everybody. Wow. The talent is in the brush. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a lighter, beigeier color, just going right underneath the eye. I'm just so like amazed. This, you know, I do my makeup one way, and then when you have somebody else do their whole thing, it's pretty wild. Now, this is another color of mine. I mean, it's fun to play with color, and this is the kind of color that is not offensive. It still has this, nice luxurious feeling to it where it's not taking away from your own yes. natural beauty but it's definitely colorful you know i'm ready for my music video i should probably get some music together first <laughs> what do you think is a trend that should stop 
um, that wavy eyebrow thing. I hated that. And I hate the ombre eyebrow. Oh, that, where it's like where, darker at the... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just like, ugh, like, you can't stand that. It's like, nobody looks like that. It's abnormal. Now, I have, I've been saving the best for last here. I have this really cool mascara. We just put it up. Okay. And it's around here somewhere. There it is. I already stole it. It's, I know, you I took it already. My, my Tati pile of makeup. <laughs> she just keeps moving things over this way. I'm like, why is everything over there now? The packaging is beautiful. This is the Scott Barnes Pumped Up Mascara. We're gonna, yes. The beach is this over. This is there. your vibe. Yeah, okay, it's my <laughs> vibe all day long. It's a little bumpy. Uh, okay, so this is a mascara that Scott was telling me will work beautifully with your false lashes. This is buildable, buildable and it's really great. And I'm gonna show you how it looks great on. But it will remove too. Yes, yeah, it comes up off. Your false yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it, I'm and it also works too if you have lash extensions. Okay. Oh. So this formula, I made sure that, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I had lash extensions for a minute when I went on vacation, and I was that bad girl that I went to an event, and I was like, screw it, just let's do the mascara, and it messed them up, dude. Yeah, it was bad. Now, I back comb mascara in like this. Excuse me? I know. It's, what? It's weird. I kind of do this to it, like back comb it in, as opposed to just going eh, 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 eh. I'm going like in and then like, down and rolling right. it. And then I just use the point to kind of lift and separate. Like a 24 hour bra. <laughs> lift Ooh, and separate. Yes. Okay, you're gonna love these lashes. You okay. ready? Yes. This is the Claudia. Mm -hmm. Then there's Vanessa. Vanessa. There's Fabiana. Fabiana. And Bianca. Bianca. She's sassy. And Olivia. Olivia. She's Who's amazing. the sassiest? Olivia is pretty sassy. Well, you know who makes a lot of appearances? Mm-hmm on our Jennifer is Vanessa. Ooh. So I'm gonna use the Vanessa on you because well, you said you wanted a J-Lo look. That's what we need to do then. Vanessa mm. it is. So there she is. This All is right. like the noisiest chair. It's I'm awesome. trying to be so professional, you guys, and I just... I thought you had gas. I wasn't <laughs> sure. <laughs> We're gonna measure these out and see how they look. Okay, I think you like it. That face told me everything. As always, I like to take a lash and turn it like that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. And you just break the band up a little bit. Chin down just a little bit and open just a little bit. Right there. So what I like to do is find the inner corner and the outer corner. Nail those down. And then you gently just tap it in. So wait, how did you trim these at all? Nope. No, no trimming what? necessary. I know. So again, break the band up. Okay. I turn it this way, I turn it that way. Woo, girl! <laughs> you need to stop! I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for my award. For what? I have no idea. All of them. Now, I am taking your lash with my mascara and connecting it with the falsetto. And then I just brush with the, the tip of this, not like a full thing but you're just directing those hairs where you want them to go and then you can put a little mascara out here i just transported to another dimension right superstardom you know what it is everybody's like what do you do scott that's different from everybody else i take extraordinary talented people and make their beauty match their talent okay that's what it is so when you call me in it's for me to connect the two things together so see how we're pulling this out mm-hmm I'm just using a darker brown. So what, third color? Oh my gosh, I, it's so funny. And in, I don't wanna say just YouTube, but in digital, you know, the trend is really to get very into the color and to use 10 different shades and to just keep piling it on, which can be fun, but it's a nice refresh to remember that technique and pulling back with maybe less color can give you a better and bigger impact. I mean, because this is glamorous. This is very glamorous makeup, and we're not using 10,000 different shades, no. you know? I think it looks more glamorous without look up again, using 10,000 different shades. Oh my God, stop <laughs> it. I will tell you this, you guys, I have had many makeup artists do my makeup for, you know, editorial, for different shoots that I've been on. And I usually run to the bathroom and I'm like, Ooh, and like, no Fix offense it. to them, but like, I know my face and I fix things. You are the only one. You really are literally the only one. 
that I just, I'm like, all right, ready to go. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed everything that was broken down and the whole journey of just Scott doing my makeup and making me look as close to JLo as I possibly could. I feel like I'm kind of there. Closer. Little, I'm, I'm, I've closer. never been this close. Get a little closer. So big thumbs up for Scott being here. Be sure to- This one is amazing. Thank you. Like trusted, tried, and true. They broke the mold with you, so. Ah, thank you. It's you're no the wonder best. you're one of you're the, the best, best YouTube channels out there. It's because it's, it, people can trust you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Which is also why I normally don't do codes and this is not a money earn for me, this is just for you guys to use. If you wanna purchase any of Scott's products, use the code in the description box below. It's not an affiliate. It's just, you know, to help you guys out, go check out those lashes, the brushes, the powders that I've talked about for years. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. It's Make hockey. sure that you are <laughs> subscribed and that you ring the bell. Love you so much and I'll see you Bye, in you guys. my next video. Mwah.